Let's determine the number of lone pairs for SO3. This is sulfur trioxide. And we'll need a valid Lewis structure in order to find the lone pairs. This is probably the best Lewis structure for SO3. The formal charges are all zero, and we have an octet on each oxygen. Sulfur, that has 12 valence electrons, but sulfur is an exception. It can have an expanded octet. So we have a Lewis structure for SO3. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. So when we look for lone pairs, we're looking for pairs of electrons that aren't between atoms. So these right here on the oxygen, this oxygen, and here, they're not involved in chemical bonds. They're not between atoms. So these are the lone pairs. For SO3, we have one, two, three, four, five, six lone pairs total. But on the central sulfur, we don't have any. That's because these electrons right here, they're between atoms. They're covalent bonds. They're shared. Sometimes we write them like this to show that they're actually chemical bonds. So each line represents a pair of bonded electrons. So in answer to our questions, on the central sulfur, there are no lone pairs. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six bonded pairs of electrons, though, for that sulfur. On the outside oxygen, we have a total of six lone pairs. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.